Hello, good afternoon, this is Diecast Looney. I hope you're all doing well. And this afternoon, or should I say this evening, we're going to take a look at some more um, old Matchbox that I um, picked up in a, a, bought a carrier bag full of cars on a local for sale site. Um, there's a person not far from my house that uh, had some Corgi and some Matchbox for sale. Um, so I bought the Matchbox. Um, some of the cars were very, very badly beaten. So uh, my son, who's only four, had the really beaten ones because obviously he's being, he's young, you know, he plays them in the sandpit. But um, there was some cars in there that were very cool. And like I said, it was it was £5 for the bag. So very, very good value for money, so to speak. So anyway, we're going to take a look at what I got. So the first one we're going to take a look at is, we'll just angle the camera down in the usual fashion because... I just feel better with it down. So anyway, got this uh, Matchbox Superfast Maserati Bora, I do believe. I'll have to look again. Uh, we do, yeah. Maserati Bora. And you can see 1972 copyright. But uh, very, very cool. Now I have one of these um, in a lot better condition. But it's from the mid-80s, from when Matchbox was going through there sort of you know they made a sort of cheaper run of these um more like a more economical run where they got uh no interiors and the windows you can't see through i have one of them and it was funny because i was looking at that this morning before i even came across the cars that were for sale and then here i am this afternoon i've got one of the super fast versions but this is really cool now when i got it uh earlier on when i, when I bought out the bag the doors one opened and one 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 wouldn't. One was stuck open. The spring had slipped. So after a little bit of jostling round, I've got it at the doors opening and shutting quite nicely now. But I'm going to give us a clean and a thorough dry and I'm going to leave it alone because I actually like it with this sort of patina feel to it. But very, very cool little casting. So that came in the bag. So that's the first one. So like I said, that one's going to get left alone, I think. And then this was another one that's pretty cool. Now, I have one of these in another bag of cars that I bought a while ago. But unfortunately, all the front was smashed in and the back corner snapped off. But the actual casting is in pretty good nick. This one's in lovely condition. The other one was a cement mix, so this one's the, the little tipper. But... Very, very cool. So this one's just going to get a little clean up with a little bit of warm water and a toothbrush, a thorough good dry. And then I'm sorry for all those out there that like things left completely alone. I'm just going to retouch up the chrome in places and just leave it as it is because it was a big helicopter came past. Um, you know, none of this for me is financial. These ain't worth a, a lot of money. They have to be in really good condition to be worth money. And... Uh, like I said, this this will look nice with a little bit of extra chrome put on and then left alone. So very, very cool. So this is obviously a Peter build. So we've got uh, 180 scale matchbox, Peter built, 1981 copyright. But very, very cool little truck, tipper truck. So again, that one will be being left alone pretty much. And then we've got a little matchbox ferrari f40 which is in really quite good condition and uh, i love the way the badges are huge on it it's almost like the badges were made for blind people which is quite funny but uh but nonetheless still very cool so you can see you've got some chrome detail going on there in the back there but not in too bad a condition at all so again obviously this will get left alone so it says uh, Matchbox Ferrari F40, made in Thailand, 1988, I believe, 159 scale. It's got the uh, chrome eight hole, eight slot wheels, I suppose is what you call them, eight dot wheels. But still got a bit of suspension, rolls nice. So again, that'll be being left alone. Then we get into the, some of the trucks. Part of the reason I went after this bag of trucks, or bag of matchbox, um, you got these, uh, what are they, transporters, so it's Kenworth Cabover, 
racing transporter and unfortunately obviously the car is long gone and the front unfortunately is snapped out but I have just ordered some styrene so I might see if I can remodel this but this one is going to be restored at some point I am going to strip this give it a repaint and possibly a set of new wheels and see if I can do something with this front end and then put another car on the back find a matchbox appropriate car and give it the same sort of colour so that'll be a video in the future but uh, so look is made in England uh, we've got 190 scale I believe is it 190 scale 1983 copyright but anyway so that will be getting redone at some point then we've got another one in quite a bit better condition but again, I think I'm going to restore this one as well, um, even though this is in better condition. And again, do the same thing. I'm going to, I've got a car in mind already restored, so I think I'll paint this to the same condition, same as the other car, same colour. Um, and just detail it out slightly. I won't go massive with it, but... You know, because again, these ain't worth a lot of money. And again, it doesn't matter what they're worth. I'm not, I'm not in it for the money. I'm, I'm a collector, but... You do get some people that think these should be left alone. And I, and I agree, I like to sometimes leave castings alone. Like with the Maserati, I'll leave that alone. But this will at some point get restored. And then we've got a cool little like transit. I think it's a Starfire, which is all metal. Metal base on it, which is pretty cool. So... So Transit, uh, Ford Supervan, sorry, Matchbox. It is a Transit. It's actually a Mark II Transit. Um, made in... can't quite see. got some glare going on there. 162 scale, 1985 copyrights. But very, very cool. Quite weighty. And again, I'm going to give us a, a respray at some point. Possibly might do something with this and marry it up to one of these. Which would be which would be quite cool at some point. So so three of them are going to be definite projects, and three of them be left alone. And then we got this corgi trailer, which has seen better days. Someone's hand painted it green. The back doesn't stay up anymore; just sort of tips down. But I'm gonna I think I'm gonna make this my next video. I'm gonna gonna strip this down, give it a put it in the dip and strip, and repaint it. I'm going to do something with this trailer hitch and I'm going to make it fit my Matchbox Super Kings truck. Now, don't anybody shoot me out there for doing this because obviously I'm mixing two together, but I will modify this to fit, you know, because I haven't got a trailer for the minute and I think it'll look all right. You know, we'll see. But... Um, it's just an idea I've got. Um, haven't got the cab with it, unfortunately. But I just thought it would look cool, repainted, and sort this hitch out so it fits the Super Kings truck. And then we've got a, a trailer to fit it for the minute. But, um, so yeah, so that was my sort of uh, bag of cars that I picked up today. Not the Super Kings, that was something that I picked up the you know, other week. Um... I, I thought whilst I'm looking at these cars, I'd show some other cars that I had in bags. Now, <clears throat> I bought a bag of cars a few months ago. I have shown this before. Um, and this came in. The whole reason I bought the bag of cars was because it had two of these in. And they're in really good condition for, for two trucks that were literally just thrown into the bag into the bag and bashed around with all the other castings. They're in really good condition, as you can see. But there's no animals inside, so you can't really expect that. But nonetheless, in very, very nice condition. I did even clean these. <coughs> Excuse me. And the tractor unit is in very, very good condition. A little bit of yellowing on the on the plastic, but nothing too much. Uh, they are Kenworth, I think. Got some glare going on again. Uh, Kenworth. I'm trying to see a date. Copyright 1981, but in very good condition. Like I said, all the cars that are in this bag 
a while back that I bought were all beaten, beaten up and bashed about. And, and like I said, I, I seen in the photographs that there was two of these trucks, um, both in very good condition. And this is the other truck that came in the same bag. So it's just a slightly different variant. And again, in very good condition, back and front. So sometimes you can buy bags of cars and you can get little gems like these. Um, and then sometimes you can get bags of cars that they're in a lot, you know, obviously a lot tattier condition, but still very cool anyway, nonetheless. And I thought whilst I'm showing some of these old Matchbox convoys, I thought I'd show my favourite one that my partner bought me. Again, this has been shown a few times before. My partner bought me this uh, probably about six months ago now. This thing came boxed um, and had never been opened. I still have the box to it, but it's in very, very nice condition, as you can see. Um, very, very nice condition. It is a cab over Kenworth, I think it's the... Uh, let's have a look. Can't see, got too much glare going on again. Yeah, another 1981 copyright. Matchbox, Kenworth. But very, very cool. I think this is the Aerodyne, I think. And then obviously you've got the rocket behind it. But this was actually a present that my partner bought me. And obviously this came in, this is in obviously superb condition. A little bit of sun bleaching going on there because it had been in this sort of, you know, must have been out in someone's collection in its box. As you can see, this side's immaculate. But anyway, that's today's or this afternoon's finds. Um, and like I said, don't shoot me for wanting to marry a matchbox with a corgi. But uh, I will try and find a trailer for the um, for the Super Kings truck at some point. But um, I'm going to see if I can do something with that one, if I can possibly. But anyway, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you all very soon. Thanks for watching.